Ah, uh, fucking Christ. I, I really am a bandwagoner. Alright. So, this game. Doki Doki Literature Club. Letting everybody know right now, it's been spoiled for me, so don't expect any too big reactions or nothing. However, I've never seen actual playthroughs of it or anything, really. So... Yeah! God, I hope nobody sees me playing this. Alright. Anybody watching this, don't click away right away. You might enjoy it, who knows. I'm debating right now if I should read, like, regular voice, try and give people silly voices, or just not read anything. I, no, I should read stuff, probably. Oh. I'm feeling the element of cringe just because this is uncomfortable. Alright. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. L let me just say, I'm playing this at 1am, I specifically waited until late at night to play this shit. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you've known each other so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Oh, she's going to chase it after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the sidewalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. <laughs> That's me and Octile. <laughs> I feel so fucking uncomfortable doing this. <laughs> Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> e <he> <laughs> I need to get some water. I'm out of water. Yeah. Uh. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Octile, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. E? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with what she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. I can relate to that on a personal level. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. For anybody who's not familiar with anime lingo or any of that stuff, a neat is basically a person who's unemployed, contributes nothing to society, basement, just a basement dwelling person living off their parents and all that, you know. That, that, that kind of stuff. Basically a complete loser. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? 
more than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does is exaggerate everything inside her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. So Yori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime. Club. Hello. Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the class. <laughs> okay. I thought I'd catch, I'd catch you coming out the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. So, so hold up, he... Every... You know, I'm not gonna like, you know, it's it's a visual novel, minimalistic for back, for art and everything. I'm not gonna question the lack of students and him not noticing everybody leaving and all that. I, ah, whatever. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, you could come to my club, Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. God damn it. E meanie. Siori is vice president of the literature club. I I've been staring at the text really intently, so I haven't noticed the change in facial expression. God damn it! All this. That I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after one who proposed a club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member, and that Suki made cupcakes and everything. That is a dick move. That is such a dick move, frustrating me like this. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. That is such a horrible situation to put someone in. And like, what if he said no? What would you do then? You just go back? The person made cupcakes for no reason? It's all garbage. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. God damn it. It's fucking... I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the door... Fuck, whatever, classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. It. I glance around the room. Girl 1. Perfect name. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Siori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, oh, Octile. What a nice surprise. I'm, lo I'm loving these names. Welcome to the club. I say nothing. Dot dot dot. All words escape me in this situation. This club is f is full of incredibly cute girls. God fucking damn it! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S -s Sorry, <laughs> Natsuki. <laughs> It would be one thing if I was just playing this by myself alone, but having to narrate this stuff out loud is just fucking embarrassing. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. It would probably be different if I was living alone, but I'm not. 
Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Yeah, you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, uh, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. This is the one who is in the... Like, doing the description on the Steam page for the game. It's great to see you again, Octile. Monica smiles sweetly. Her hair defies the laws of physics. How do we know each other? Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class. Oh, no, not how, it was we. Same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. All the generic things that make someone best girl. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Octave. We made room for you at the table so you could sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. <laughs> then how about I make some tea as well? I feel like I need somebody else to narrate this series, because I, I know if I try and do any different voices, it'll end up sounding too ridiculous to be funny. Like, it'll just... It'll just be cringy. It won't even be funny or enjoyable in any way. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Soeri mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. I need to keep an eye on the time because if this goes over 20 minutes, nobody will watch it. It's currently 1.16 a.m. I'm going to give this seven more minutes before I end the part. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! What am I- what- how do you vocalize this? Well, okay, that's whoa, and that's a you, so is it- Is it like, ooh, oh? Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. It'd be nice if we could see a picture of them. The whiskers are drawn with icing. The little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. I suppose, it, you know, any picture they'd show would, let, would be a letdown at that point. So cute! Exclamation point. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hehehe. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Siori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Siori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingies, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. All the other people disappear. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Wh why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. <laughs> I like it so much that they fucking did that trope. I thought you technically did. Sayori said, Well, maybe, Baka. <laughs> but not for you, you fucking dummy. <laughs> uh, yeah, hell, I got, a, I got some hot sauce over here from my pizza. I might just drink it halfway through the recording just for the fucking hell of it. See how how, I'm, how good I'm able to talk with 
After drinking hot sauce. <laughs> alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. She's obviously a tsundere bitch. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. And don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Who says that? You don't say th those aren't things you say. E, th that's not true. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. That's <laughs> these people are saying. Uh, the rule, the social rules are being broken. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. This looping music's starting to get to me. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Madoka raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Madoka that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embraced. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Haha, <laughs> well, you know, after we lost the math debate, nobody wanted to be in the club. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Especially after the math debate. It feels like nothing but arguing about budget and publicity how to prepare for events. Like that one time we were prepared for the math debate. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. It's been seven minutes. I'll give it a couple more. Because I'm not good at the passage of time. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. How many people are very interested in putting out all... Putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate, right everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. Are, are we missing someone? Oh, there we go. You know it! Wait, wait, wait. There's a little, there's a little fang. A little, little tooth. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying this too much. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different roles. All interested in the same goal. <laughs> Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Octa, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, find out on the next part of Doki Doki Literature Club, because we're going to end this part right now.